Greetings, my beautiful viewers. So, a few of you may be wondering why I've decided to post episodes of NG, Spirit Hunter Volume 2, instead of Catherine, like I mentioned I was going to. That is because, unfortunately, my current in my current setup, I am still unable to record on console games, but I was able to record PC games. I bought Catherine on console, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that. So, I figured for the month of Halloween, since of course this is a scary game, I'm gonna be posting episodes of this until my new setup is all set, and then I'm gonna get back to regular posting. So, thanks for being patient, and let's get going. Oh! Wait, Volume 2? Wait, hold on, what, what is that? Okay, that's, um, interesting to me, but, uh, either way. Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome to Spirit Hunter NG! Or, just NG, I guess. It says Volume 2 Spirit Hunter. Like, is that... Like, because, like, this is the second game in the series? Because this is, um... Uh, for those of you who may not be aware, this is a sequel to, uh... Uh, it's kind of a not sequel, but it is a sequel, spiritual successor, whatever you want to call it, of Deathmark, which was one of my favorite games of all time, and, oh god, now I'm just realizing it. Oh shoot, hold on guys, hold on. I didn't turn the lights off. I promised myself it's a scary game, I gotta turn the lights off, hold on. Oh, it's super dark now. Oh, okay, so, uh, uh, for, to let you guys know, I am in my new recording space. I uh, finally have my own uh, little sound room that I have uh, prepared for myself. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, can I use my controller? Hold on. I have my controller with me. Okay, I can play with my controller. Okay, I would much rather play this game um, with... Uh, uh, my, uh, controller, because that's how I played the first one, even though I played the first one on the Switch, I'm playing this one, like, directly on the PC, I still want to know what, like, Volume 2 is about, like, what is that about, I don't know, I, I am super excited, but also super terrified, because, um, I, um, don't know much about this, again, because, like, I, oh, oopsie, I try to go into these games with minimal information on exactly what I'm going to be playing, exactly what I'm going to be doing, so, all I know is that somehow, uh, the main character, this bro, right here, that guy, uh, and I think that, yeah, mouse will disappear in a second, um, I'm mostly gonna be using the controller kinda like the same way I did before, but, um, I am super excited to get into this because all I know is that main bro right there is trying to find his sister. That's all I know at this point, and it, it's similar art style and everything, to like death mark and even if it's not directly related i am super excited for it so without much further ado we're going to get into ng oh what that choosing a scary effects mo what what do you mean choosing a scary effects mode for abrupt scares you can choose the level you want them at from three different mo wait what Okay, off will significantly dial down uh, the extra scary effects compared to default mode. Why would I want to turn off this? It's a scary game. Why would I want to turn those off? That makes no sense. Scary effects, uh, scary effects during events are unaffected. You will still be able to see any effects if they affect the story. Scary mode uh, will increase the extra scary effects compared to default mode. If the system is saved after a mode is selected, the selected mode will affect all save data. Okay. It's currently set to default. I'm not trying to, to have this be extra scary for him, besides the first one was scary enough. I'll, I'll, I'll go with default now to see, like, what they initially wanted me to see, and then, like, I'm wondering if it's maybe, like, uh, remember in, um, if you guys, uh, for those of you who watched my Let's Play of Deathmark, uh, the link for that, uh, will be in the description below. They had, like, little moments where you would just find things with your flashlight and everything, and you kind of get, like, they, they kind of be, like, scary in that regard, but, you know, not too terribly scary, so, I mean, like, I think I'll just go with default, 
because some people want super scary. I don't want it not scary, but I don't want it super scary. I am kind of a wuss, and I'm in I'm in my new recording space. That um, the window, the one window I have in here is covered. It's right in front of me, and it's dark outside, and I have blackout curtains. So yeah, this room is completely dark. So I think I'll just go with regular default because that's scary enough. Mode has been set to default. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go another round. <gasps> yeah, whoa, whoa there, sir. Just take one step at a time. I'm already up to my ears with work. And now they want me to tackle the Y2K bug, too. Wait, so wait, this is before the year 2000? Did the first game take place before the year 2000? I don't remember. Uh, the game was kind of ambiguous with what year it took place. I mean, I kind of surmised it was like, you know, like around like the early 2000s, maybe the 90s, just because like no one had a cell phone and everything. Or if they did, it was like a like a cordless like it wasn't like a like a cell phone like like it wasn't a smartphone huh i don't know who wouldn't drink at a time like this <sighs> all right but only one more stop okay it's a busy day and night in front of kisoji station kisoji kisoji i know it's a I, I'm sorry, I just spelled kiss OG. So, kiss OG? Okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity to test the buttons. Okay, that's how I do that, okay. Oh, that's auto. Okay, that's how I go back and check things that people have said, okay. Oh! Oh, no, 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 I don't wanna do that. Oh, oh, and that's skip, I think. Okay, hold on. The sun's already gone down, and the main street's full of bright neon signs. But once you step into the back alley, it's a different story. It's murky dark there, full of trash and puke. Much like most alleyways! The main street may be fired up with energy, but the heat there is downright suffocating. Makes sense that man, that a man'd be, a man'd want, okay, that's weird. Makes sense that a man would want to drown his troubles in drink. Oh. Dumb thoughts like that go through my mind as I make my way down that same disgusting path. Oh. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know who he is yet. It's been a week since my last summer break as a high school student started. I don't get much in the way of entertainment, so I figured I may as well waste my evening here. Guess it's about time. Better start heading back. As I as I make my way over to the main street again. Please stop. I can hear a voice coming from the front of the station. Oh, hello, miss. I'm not really interested. And I'm kind of in a hurry. Whoa! Man with a freaky mohawk! Come on, don't say that! Just two seconds. I think we both get something out of this. Oh god! Jesus, I don't know where that voice came from, but it's working! Decide after you hear me out. What do you say? A and I said I'm not interested. I don't know, like, girl in gothic clothing. I mean, like... I, I got a thing for girls in gothic clothing. I'm sorry. She seems interesting to me all of a sudden. A shady looking guy is being rather persistent with this girl in a strange getup. He's got guts trying to recruit outside a police station. Either that or he's an idiot. But it doesn't look like the cop sees it. Huh. Guess he's too busy dealing with a drunk. Hold up. Wait. Are you thinking I'm suspicious? God, with that face? Yes! No, 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 you pegged me wrong! I might not look in, I might not look it, but I'm a gentleman with 
cute girls. God. Ah, oh, 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 it's creeping me out. My own voice is creeping me out with this. Jeez. Would you just listen to me? She's only got herself to... Wait, 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 wait. No, okay, no. No, no, no. That's not cool. She's only got herself to blame? No, she does not. That's bullshit. It's like saying, oh, because she dresses in gothic Lolita. Like, she deserves to have horrible people, like, try to recruit her for what seems to be prostitution. That's what it seems like this guy is trying to recruit her for. So, yeah, no, fuck you. But, like, yeah, it's bullshit. Like, she's only got herself to blame. Yeah, fuck that noise. That's bullshit if I ever heard it. It's her fault for walking around at night in something eye-catching like that. See? He's a son of a bitch. I'm kind of not a fan of the person I'm playing right now. Can I go back to Yashiki? Oh, I love Yashiki. Future Brandon. Show, like, show Yashiki real quick. Bring him up for us, because... God, I miss him. God, I miss you, man. I miss you so much. And God, the game just started. <sighs> what should I do? Oh! Eh? The girl looks over and our eyes meet. Oh no! A smile spreads across her face. Hey you! You're Taro, aren't you? I'll have you know you're late. Huh? Huh? <laughs> we need to hurry. The movie's about to start. Whoa, hold up! This girl! Is she using me as her out? Yes, and you should just go along with it. Oh, that noise! I love that noise! It's from the first game! Hey now, just hold on a second. It's hard to find a nice lady such as yourself. And I'm not letting you go that easily. You, in the hood. I'm sure you understand the situation, yeah? The guy pins me with a glare. I'll admit, it's pretty practice. He's clearly run this racket before. You don't want things to get hairy, right? Well, I mean, you're missing most of your hair apart from... Like, it looks more like a ponytail that comes out of the front than a mohawk, but I mean, I, technically, I guess that's a mohawk. Hey, asshole! Say something! You disrespected the... Oh, God. I was trying to do the voice. I wasn't reading properly. You disrespecting the Amanome family? Sounds like the strong arm has come out. Damn, he's in the Yakuza. And now she's afraid. But she thought the guy was just a scary manager looking for models or something. Heh, <laughs> what's the problem, man? Cat got your tongue. Too scared to talk. With the yapping jersey. Huh? You think you can get away with talking to me like that? You little... Let me see your damn face! Veins bulging. The guy grabs my hood and rips it off. What is this? Oh! Oh, I get to... Oh, I get to customize my look! I don't like the sunglasses. I don't like the goatee. See, I like Yashki with a goatee because it looked good on him, but um, I think I'll just go with this because he's supposed to be a high school student, right? This seems more appropriate. Like the sunglasses, I don't know, like ah, uh, I, I kind of like the idea of seeing his eyes better personally. Uh, this cannot be altered later. Okay, fine, sure. You satisfied? I level an intense glare at him. Goop! He glares back, but it's obvious he's shaken. Looks like he looks like he's not used to being on the receiving end. What's that look? Huh? You're disrespecting the Amanome family? Guess you're not a dog. You're a parrot. Spittle flying, the guy clenches his fist and pulls back. 
Too slow. Whoa, what did I do? Sensing his intent to kill, my body moves on its own. Kill or be killed. A reflex ingrated. Uh, uh, ingrated, huh? A reflex ingrained. Ingrained? That, that makes more sense. A reflex ingrained in me down to my bones. Now, how should I do this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, straight to the face, punch the gut. Sweep the legs. We're going to sweep the legs. I swing my right leg out in a sweeping kick to his thigh to knock him off balance. Ooh. Oh, and he's down. The dumb lackey crumbles to the concrete. Ow. He curls up on the ground, groaning. Wow. <laughs> you were so fast. I couldn't see what you were doing at all. <sighs> um... I'm sorry for getting you involved. Thanks so much for saving me. Um, could you tell me your name? It's not important. Oh, please. I'd like to at least know the name of the person who saved me. I'll let you leave until... I, I won't let you leave until you tell me. Okay, creepy lady. What's with this girl? She means it. I can see it in her eyes. I could ignore her and go, but she'll probably follow me everywhere until she gets it. That'd be a pain in the ass. Fine, I'll only say this once. My name's... And now I come up with a name, don't I? Enter the... Default name is Kijima. Oh, I like that. I like Kijima. I'm just gonna go with that. I like Kijima. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Is Kijima okay? Yes, it is. Oh, Kiji Akira, Akira Kijima. Yeah, okay, cool. I know some people like to name their characters like after themselves, but I definitely don't like to do that because I don't like to feel like it's me in the story. I like it to be the character and like what the character would do based on the choices that I give them. Like, I don't know. That's just how I see it. Yes, Akira Kijima. I like Kijima. It's cool. It reminds me of Majima. Like, my favorite character from, um, the Yakuza series. Wait, Kijima? I don't believe it. It can't be a coincidence. My name is... Oh. A whistle pierces the square. Someone must have reported the Tulsa to the station. Looks like the cops are paying attention. Damn. Sorry, but I have to get going. You better get out of here too, Kijima. Bye. Okay, I guess I guess we're leaving now. The girl books it to the opposite end of the station. What do I do now? Crisis choice. When a protagonist finds himself in trouble, often an important decision needs to be made. At the time, the word security will appear on the screen. Keep a close eye on the corner as you'll get a game over once security hits zero. Oh shit. Security drops when the time limit expires for a selection or a wrong decision is taken. One wrong choice can potentially bring uh, security down to zero. Okay, it's like a health bar then. Be quick and think before you decide. I thought I just said be quick, oh, oh. Warning. <sighs> Two cops in front of the station. Pointless fights in a place like this stand out too much. The best thing to do is to nonchalantly hurry and get away from here without attracting attention. Okay? How to deal with the cops. Let's hide in the shadows! I love this choice! Oh no! That was a horrible choice! Oh, I'm just dead, aren't I? Okay, so this takes place uh, of the uh, live or die um, from the last game. I hide in the shadow of a nearby car. It may be late, but I'm out in the open in front of the in front of a train station. People are still all around. It'll only be a matter of time before someone spots me hiding. I'm an idiot. Some goody two shoes must have ratted me out. I got the cops trying to corner me. Uh, got no other choice. 
Wait, did I try to punch the cop? With a quick move, I narrowly slip the grasp of the cops and run off. But it wasn't their first day on the job. Oh, no. They got a good long look at my face. And the next day, cops show up in my apartment and take me away. Oh. Game over? Yep, game over. I was I was expecting death, not like, you know. Like, uh, the, like they, they've renamed them, but these are basically the liver dies from the last one. Except it's now like crisis mode. Oh. Yeah, I'll just skip this for now. Okay, crisis choice. Eh, let's just run. Oh, that was good. Okay, good, good. We're just gonna run. I need to get the hell out of here. Leaving the guy and a ball on the ground, I break into a sprint. Hold it! Stop right there! A demanding voice chases after me. Only one set of footprints, though. The other, uh, the other must have stayed back at the scene. As I run, I come across the path I was on earlier. Like I keep saying, Earth's gonna go poof soon! Even Nostromodeus said so! So why bother working? You get me? Uh, yeah, I got you. Let, let's just hurry back. Looks like the drunk pair are still in the alley. I mean, still? They, like, were they there during my entire interaction? Like, do they have nothing better to do with their lives? <sighs> this game of tags getting an, uh, getting annoying. A tall concrete wall stands to my right. It's about four meters tall. Well, let's do this. Take a deep breath. Am I gonna jump up the wall? I dash toward the wall. Yup, I'm parkouring this shit. Oh yeah! Oh, that's fucking cool. I like that. I heave myself up and over and land on the other side. I can hear the footsteps of the cop skid to a halt. Hey, you two there. Did you see a kid in black clothes? Nah, sorry, haven't seen him. Shit. Where did he go? The pounding footsteps retreat. Sounds like I lost him. Crisis! <laughs> crisis averted! That's what I'm gonna say from now on. Oh, crisis choice. Huh. What a waste of time. I need to get going. Hmm. Loading during an event? What? During events, the L2 button, uh, LT, huh, left trigger, uh, will allow you to load, save data, or return to the title screen. How do I save regularly? This is a thing I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Yes, I do want to save. Oh, it just did that. Uh, Oh! Oh, welcome back. I'm glad you made it, Akira. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. At least there aren't any customers. <laughs> Just like always, we never get any customers. That's Natsumi Kijima. She runs the place, the Black Rabbit Bar? Oh no! Oh, I'm getting some bad vibes here, the Black Rabbit! Because of the black rabbit from the first game. Oh no, oh no, no, do not black rabbit her. Do not black rabbit her. Hashtag don't black rabbit, I think is his sister? I think it's his sister, I'm not sure. <clears throat> she runs the black rabbit bar and writes horror novels. Plus she's my aunt. Okay, not your sister, she's your aunt. Okay, bit, bit better. When, when my mom, her sister died two years ago, she took me in. On paper, she's legally my mother now. Oh, nice. Has anything been bothering you lately? You know you can talk to me about anything, right? 
If it gets too difficult living on your own, you're welcome to stay at our house anytime. Maybe, when I feel like it. She's a good person. Only problem is she cares too much. Both Ami and I would love it if you came to live with us. Big Brother! A familiar voice calls out from the back. Oh, yay! I thought you weren't going to make it today. And this kid's Aunt Ami. I almost said Amy. Huh. She's Aunt Natsumi's only daughter, so I guess that makes her my little sister now. I mean, she's a I, in actual relation, she's your cousin, but I get the whole thing in, in Japan of a, like, you know, like, everyone's big bro. Every I'm just big bro all the time. Hey, Akira, do you think I've grown up a bit? You're like 10, so I don't know. Grown up? I asked mom to measure how tall I am, and it turns out I grew. See? Wasn't I a lot shorter the last time you saw me? Come on, look closely. Um, this is incredibly awkward. I mean, a, a little girl asking me if, like, she seems grown up. Like, I, I, that's like, Japan is a weird place, man. Japan is a weird place. Do not, do not test me on that. You don't look any different to me. What? No way. Jeez, you're so mean. Come along, Ami. It's getting late. It's about time for you to go stay with your big brother. Wait, what? We have an arrangement where I'm supposed to watch Ami until she's done working. Not exactly a great idea to have a kid hanging around at a bar at night. But I want to help you out, Mom. I can't when I'm a grown-up, right? Yes, dear, once you've grown up, I'll be able to sit back and relax. That's actually a custom, like, in uh, in Japan. Like, from, from what I've read, I've read articles on it about how, like, they um, they don't exactly, ec like, it's not, like, 100% expected, but, like, uh, there's a big theme of uh, family and taking care of your own in Japan. So, yeah, I mean, like, that makes sense. That's interesting. I like that. Okay, Akira, I'll leave Ami up to you. Ten bucks says that girl's either gonna die or disappear, and that's what's gonna trigger the the actual game. We're gonna find out. I kind of hope not, because you know I do not like the death of small children in video games, because that creates ghost children, and as we all know, fuck ghost children. How do I react to that? Judging system? There's a judging system. During some conversations, you'll be asked to select an aptitude uh, with which to reply. When the five protagonist expressions appear, select one of them using the directional buttons and the A button. The attitude chosen will affect how the other person feels towards the protagonist. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll leave them up to you. Oh, Jesus, no. Um. Uh, oh, what like what sense am I getting on this? I, I this judging system is weird. Although like this seems better than like just like a couple of choices. Like I'm getting like a full like like how do I feel about this? Like I hate everything. Eh, I don't like this. I'm neutral. That's fine. Whatever you want, Oni-chan. <laughs> oh, nay chan I meant either way. Uh I, we're just gonna have him be d indifferent. Your face is blank, but I can count on you for this, right? Oh, I, I should have reassured her, but like, uh, I can't go back now. What's wrong, big brother? Come on, let's go, let's go. Ami bounces excitedly and hangs off my sleeve as we head off. We stop at the supermarket on the way home to grab some side dishes on sale. Hanasaki Apartments is barely standing, though that's what happens after 20 years. Third from the left on the second floor, 
203 is home sweet home. Hey, Akira? Yeah? We're family, right? So why don't you just stay with us at our place? It's fun coming here, but it's even, it'd be even more fun if we lived together. I don't think he'd be angry about that, but he wouldn't be happy either. <sighs> like, I just imagine him at this point of the game being kind of indifferent. Are you thinking about it? Hmm? There's something in front of your door. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right there. I glance where Ami's looking at the dim light, and the dim light barely lets me see a black paper on the ground. And by the size of it, it's probably a postcard. Maybe it's a letter for you. Shouldn't we pick it up? Let's just let's take a glance. I don't feel like grabbing that right away. Got it. Wait, no! I didn't want to- no, no, you got- that's not what I wanted! God, I said take a glance, not like her pick it up. Here you go. Ami picks up the postcard and hands it to me. Huh, well that's new. A black postcard. My address is written on the front. Uh, well, more like typed. No one scribes- no one scribed with a pen for this. But it doesn't actually say who it's for. Maybe it's not really for you. Oh, there's something on the back. Okay, um, once Princess Kaguya returned to the moon, she said... Blublips? Pubule? What does this mean? That's what I want to know! What does that mean? Words are typed out on the back of the card, too. One spirit since Kagi returned to the moon. Okay, yeah. Ooh, I bet this is a riddle. I think that it's an anagram. I'm pretty sure that it's... Uh, I'm not, uh, is that... Is anagram the right word I'm looking for? That thing where you jumble all the letters around to... to um, like, And you have to like re-jumble them to figure out what it's actually supposed to be. Do you get it? Obviously! It doesn't make sense to me- Yeah, <laughs> I'm just lying! I'm lying so that she doesn't figure out that I have no fucking idea. Oh, give me a hint, please! Title... The title of a fairy tale? Um, is the title Princess Kaguya? Nope. Pretty sure it's the tale of the bamboo cutter. Huh, so the tale of the bamboo cutter. Uh, figure out the rest on your own. Oh, I get it! It's bamboo cutter! So I need to cut out the letters in bamboo from it? Oh my god! I get it! Okay, using the mouse here. Cutting out the letters from bamboo, B A M. So it's let's boo out there. Let's play. Let's play. That's what I'm doing! That's amazing! You're a genius! I'm glad my main character is a genius, and I didn't have to figure that out, because I had no idea! If you pull bamboo from Labamet's Pabule. Uh. Yeah, it's Let's Play. <laughs> Someone wants to make plans to play. Do you think one of your friends sent it? I don't have friends, little girl. What What part of my, my getup makes you think that I have friends? And if I do have friends, they're fucking weird. They're probably... I'm probably going to become, like, close friends with, like, um... Like Gothic Lolita Girl, which, God, I hope so, because she was really cute and I like her. 
they knew me, it's easier just to write my name. It's a dumb prank anyway, no point in thinking about it so hard. The second I dismiss the card, a strong gust of wind blows through the hallway. Well, I mean, like, you're not really in a hallway, you're on a balcony, but I mean, I, I mean far be it for me to tell you where you live. It's hard to believe it's summer with a breeze that cold. Uh, that's not good. Caught off guard, I shiver. I think my whole body just turned into goosebumps. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. Come on, let's get inside. Okay. I'm back! Yes, you are, sweetheart. I mean, I start eating the side dishes I bought in the living room after we step inside. On the menu, fried food that was 20% off. Sautéed burdock and rice in packets. I don't have a microwave, so they're cold, but food's all the same once it's in your belly. Well, that's kind of a point. Thanks for the food! Itadakimasu! I don't think those cheap dishes from the supermarket would be would be good, but they were. No. Oh. Uh, thank you. I'm cheap, and I don't live in your fancy house, little girl. I still think you're... Uh, you're... <laughs> I still like your cooking better, though. There was a cooking show on TV a while ago. I think you could win first place if you went on it. I mean, I don't know about that. I'm not that good at cooking. I'm only just, you know, amazing. There's a show like that. Yeah, I don't have a TV. Yeah, this is definitely like late 90s, close to 2000. The last episode had everyone from Purple on it. They were really good at cooking. What's Purple? Oh, Purple is a band that just got popular. And the idol Momo... Kurusu was also on the show. Kuru... Kuruse. Kuruse. Not Kurusu. Kuruse. Oh, that makes me think of, um... Uh, the, the idol girl from the first game. God, there's gonna be so many mental callbacks for me that, like, none of y'all are gonna get. You don't know any of them? Nope. I don't really want to learn, either. Oh, wait a second. There's no TV in here. Hey, why don't you have one? It's expensive. Uh, I guess you can't buy one until you're a grown-up. That is not true, but at the same time, that is the excuse that I am using. You're more of a big person than me, but next to mom, you're still a kid. Thank you for reminding me, little girl who is related to me, cousin, Little sister, I don't know what to call you. I'll just call you little girl. There we go. Small child, you're a small child. Don't die, small child, because then I have to deal with your ghost. Huh. What the hell? Oh, someone's at the door. Ah, uh, Natsumi? No, it's too early. I take a look through the peephole. Uh, oh no! Is it a guess? There's no one there! Oh my god, I was not expecting this so soon! Oh shit! Not sure. No one's there. But no one's there! But no one's there! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! No, 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 I am in a dark room by myself! Oh fuck! Didn't you say no one was there? No one is there! Small child, get away from the door! Quickly! I'll just get my shotgun! That is illegal in Japan, but I need it right now! What's going on? Bad things! A ghost or something? No! What, what, what do you think? I think it's a... What do you think, small child? Hmm... Maybe the intercom's broken? Yeah, yes, yes, good, I love that idea. Go away! Um, big brother? Could you look outside real quick, please? I am not opening that door! She isn't quite pleading, but I can tell she's feeling uneasy. 
Uh, I checked the people again just in case, but I see nothing on the other side. It's okay. Like last time, no one's there. The hell's going on? <laughs> I think I need to document this. Never thought I'd ever see you look surprised. Could have sworn you were the deadpan type. Oh. Outgoing team. Hey, how's it going, best friend? Coming up the stairs is a familiar face. Oh, gods. Oh, I get it. I'm a nome. I'm a nome. So it was you. A little shit rang the intercom and hid before I came out. Isn't he a bit old for ding dong ditch? Huh? Seiji? Ami peers out at us from the kitchen window. Oh, so you're here too, Ami. Sorry for startling you. I didn't expect you to be here. But admit it, Akira. Didn't that just send an icy chill down your spine? <laughs> yes, it did, you son of a bitch! I already don't like you! <coughs> Ow. And the fact that you're from the family that tried to mug me earlier. Yeah, I'm not too happy with you, bro. Punch? I can outright punch him? I'm just gonna glare him. <laughs> don't give me such a scary look. It was just some harmless fun. Don't tell me you were the one who left that weird postcard, too. Huh? Well, don't look at me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Then good. So why are you here? Well, it's about that matter, of course. I'm sure you don't want the kid to hear about it, so let's talk downstairs. Hey, Ami, I'm gonna borrow your bro for a bit. Amanome heads downstairs. I'll wait for you in your room then. I'll see you later. Okay. Akira, catch. He tosses me a drink. Blue and white uh, can reads, Not a de coco owl lot? You and your weird drinks. Never seen anything like it, yeah? I saw it at the convenience store, so I bought it. Take it. Consider it an apology of sorts. Apology? Earlier, our rookie, Maruhashi, gave you some trouble, didn't he? Maruhashi. The dirtbag in the jersey? <laughs> I figured that was it. That's right. He may not look of it. He may not look it, but he's one of our newbies. You know, word travels fast. We take pride in our reporting ethic, much more efficient than the others. Well, that's so. I always thought him an idiot. I never expected he'd pick a fight with you. I'll make him formally apologize in person. He's Yakuza, after all. We'll make him set things right. Seiji Hamanome. Young son of the current boss of the Amanome family, based in the Shinza Ward. He's not an official member yet, since he's still in school, but he's got a lot of influence. We're classmates, been hanging around each other ever since elementary school. Oh, shit. That did push the wrong button, my bad. Ah, there we go. But you're quite the gentleman, Akira. Helping out a girl arguing with a hoodlum. Maruhashi says she was a pretty says she was pretty cute, around the same age as us. Cut it out, Hamanome. I just got mixed up in some nonsense. Ha <laughs> I thought so. Fighting to uphold boring things like humanitarian like humanitarian integrity just isn't your MO! I thought the world was going to end or something. Get to the point, will ya? I'm leaving. Amanome shrugs off my glare. 
Jeez, no chit chat for you, I suppose. Uh, there's a limit to how unsociable one can be. All right, I want to talk to you about the UG match. UG, uh, short for underground match. Okay. Amanome got me this part-time job during middle school as fighting. It's the only thing I'm good at. Oh, oh, well, that'll be very useful. I should have picked. I should have figured that out from the fact that he kicked ass earlier. The Yakuza run a series of fight battles. You win, you get some prize money. Bunch of different types, enter. Even former boxers and wrestlers from all over the country come. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, the world's <coughs> pardon me, but the world's like, uh, but worlds like this exist in the city's underbelly. I have to say, I was surprised. Your message came out of nowhere. Are you serious about Quentin? That's the plan. There's no... There's no one better than you in the UG match. Plus, the fans love you. Your win record is unbroken, and you fight with style. The audience goes wild over every match you enter. And we make a hefty profit in the bets. You sure you don't want to think this over? Give it up. It's not happening. I've saved enough to support myself for a while. There's no reason for me to go back. Besides, I don't like being their entertainment. How very like you. Whoo! Oh, that's too bad, but I understand. I did promise that you'd be able to quit whenever you wanted. Besides, I I'm, I'm more than anyone know you're not the type to listen only because others say so. Get back to me if you ever change your mind. Yeah, sure. You sure are a strange guy, you know. You wouldn't have to worry about money if you just let Miss Natsumi take care of you. Pass. I like being alone. Wow, <laughs> what a waste. If you want to switch places, I wouldn't mind being in the care of Miss, uh, Miss Natsumi myself. Well, he is definitely... He definitely is going after the MILF. Okay, yeah, I mean, I get it. I thought she was pretty, too. I mean, not really my type, but, you know, hey, you know... I wouldn't say no, just saying that. If she if she wanted to take me out for a nice dinner, I wouldn't say uh, no to that. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh. Oh, it's Akira and Seiji. If you're out here talking, was it for something important? Uh, did I interrupt? Oh, not at all. Uh, we've already finished our conversation, so you don't need to be concerned. Uh, by the way, Miss Natsumi, I must say that you are looking as lovely as always. Hehe, <laughs> always the flatterer. I really do appreciate you getting along with Akira. I do hope you'll continue to be around. Well, yes, of course. Miss Natsumi, if you are ever... F <clears throat> Miss Natsumi, if you're ever in any trouble, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. For you, I would jump through fire. Oh, you really want to exaggerate, aren't you? This is how conversations go between these two. Uh, that, okay, I read that wrong, but this is how conversations between these two always go. And Natsumi knows about his family, but she doesn't turn up her nose or run away got nerves of steel. Well, she does run a bar all on her own, after all. Ah, uh, I see it's getting pretty late, so I believe I'll excuse myself for today. I've got to s I got to see Miss Natsumi's face. I have a feeling that I'll have a wonderful dream tonight. Have a great night. See you, Akira. With a wave of his hand, Amanome disappears into the dark. Sorry, I'm late. Surprising, after you left, surprisingly after you left, the customers wouldn't stop coming. I'm sure I could have gotten closed up sooner, but I want to do all I can for the regulars who tell me how much the bar feels like home. Because he left me the bar after he passed away. Aunt Natsumi is actually an author. Running the bar is more of a side hobby. She doesn't seem to care much about profit. Some days, not a single customer comes. She puts zero. She puts zero effort towards getting new ones. Yes, it's time to be getting home. 
Ami, your mom's here. I raise my voice to call through the window. Oh, good. Welcome back, Mom. Okay, I was worried that maybe, like, because of the postcard, like, maybe she would have disappeared while we were downstairs or something. I didn't know if that was going to happen, but I was kind of terrified of that. Uh... Oh, my, don't you look sleepy. Uh, come on, let's get home. Say goodnight to your big brother. Thanks, Akira. Night, night. I imagine her doing, like, the hand thing of night, night, just, like, opening and closing her hand. Oh, it's adorable. She's growing on me. She's growing on me, and that's not good. The two of them hold hands as they make their way home. I do a quick clean of the living room, take a fast shower, and change for bed. So he's a night shower. I am definitely not that. I shower in the mornings because it is so much better to wash all, like, you know, like the sweat and everything off. Because, you know, your pores open at night and everything, so, like, oil comes out. So I don't like the feeling of being oily when I wake up. Weird, I know. Ah, uh, and so another normal day passes. Rarely does anything new happen. Days with little variation. Oh. Oh, that's a nice effect. They put the effect of the occasional wind rumbling through and, like, feeling it in the apartment. That's cool. Boring and only broken up by inconsequential problems. I expect tomorrow and the day after will be no different. Well, time to get some sleep. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. I'm, I'm concerned. My head hits the cheap pillow and my consciousness quickly drifts into darkness. Hmm? What's that? I'm not, I can't do anything. Oh, oh, we're going to sleep. Okay. Normal. Yes, I would like to save, please. The end of normal. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Just the end of normal. Jesus. Well. Fuck. Oh, Hakira. Perfect timing. And I think, unfortunately, that this is where we're going to have to cut it for this first episode. Yes, I know. Nothing scary or spooky happened in this episode, apart from that little tiny scare that I had. It was mostly exposition stuff, but I don't want these episodes to go on for too terribly long. I'm doing them about the same length that I was doing uh, the, um, uh, come on, Marine, you can do this. I'm doing this about the same length as I was doing for Death Mark. Um, so yeah, like between 45 to 55 minutes because I don't want them to run too long, but I want them to like be significantly long. So with that being said, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Next time, the end of normal has occurred, and therefore, the end of normal is now upon us. So now we're finally going to get into, like, the scary shit in the game. So I am super excited, and I, pardon me, and I hope that you are too. So thanks again, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. <laughs>